Good morning. Happy Way in Wednesday. I hope everyone's having a great day. I had a great sleep last night. I uh, got to bed early, got a couple videos done yesterday, posted and everything. I wanted to get to bed earlier last night because last uh, week on Way in Wednesday, I didn't have a good sleep the night before and I woke up just feeling sluggish and bloated and not feeling great. So got a good sleep last night, uh, woke up refreshed, feel awesome. Uh, and I am ready to jump on the scale. Uh, I got everything set up behind me, <laughs> uh, ready to go. First, we'll look at uh, the weekly recap of the calories, see what I should be expecting. Obviously, I have no doubt that I'm gonna be out of the 250s because uh, I did the challenge where I was in a thousand, thousand calorie deficit um, every day last week. So looking forward to it. We'll uh, see what the scale says. But uh, like I said, first, check out the calories. This week, you can see I took in 15,349 calories. I burned 24,622 calories, which left me with a deficit for the whole week of 9,273. And when I divided that by 3,500 calories, which is equal to one pound of body fat, uh, it showed that I should be expecting to lose about 2.6 pounds of body fat. This doesn't always mean the scale is gonna say exactly 2.6 pounds lost, uh, but it'll probably be around there. And it's a pretty good indication that I'm gonna go down in weight as well. With that being said, let's find out what the weight is. Now, I already knew that after that last week of a thousand calorie deficit every single day, that I was definitely gonna lose some weight. I was definitely gonna get out of the 250s, but man, <laughs> 4.2 pounds lost last week. And uh, officially out of the 250s, down to 247.6. That is crazy, that's that's wild. I That is the most I've lost in one week so far, for sure. Other than maybe the first week or something, but again, that doesn't count. First couple weeks don't count. I'm blown away. I thought it was gonna be like maybe two and a half pounds, something like that, maybe three pounds pushing it, but 4.2 is awesome. Uh, I didn't try to like, you know, restrict myself overly or anything for this weigh-in to make it more. I was just doing the thousand calorie deficit every day and I'm done that thousand calorie deficit challenge. But yesterday I was in about a thousand calorie deficit as well. I just did it not even trying. I wasn't planning to do it. It just, you know, happened. I just ate the appropriate amount of food. I hope that's maybe just cause like subconsciously I'm like learning, Hey, you don't need to eat a ton of food. Like last night when we had dinner, um, I wanted seconds and I was like, eh, no, might, might as well not. And it wasn't like me being like, I really, really want seconds. I'm going to like restrict myself. I was just like, I want seconds, but I'm probably going to be too full after if I do it. So I just didn't. And I was fine. Didn't feel super hungry that night. Didn't want to eat anything later on. It was, it was awesome. So man, it, uh, it's crazy. I am, uh, I, it, it I knew I was going to lose a little bit of weight, but 4.2 pounds is uh, pretty, pretty surprising. I don't expect to lose 4.2 every week. And uh, from what I've, you know, learned and been told and everything like that, uh, 4.2 pounds is uh, an amount that if you're going to be losing that every single uh, week, then you're probably going to be burning in some muscle. It's just overall, you don't want to burn muscle tissue off your body. Uh, muscle tissue, you know, obviously keeps you strong. It's healthy tissue and it also keeps your metabolism up and, and you know, all that stuff. So it's not, it's not something you really want to burn off your body. It's not healthy. So yeah, suffice to say it was, uh, it was definitely a good week. It was definitely a good weigh in. Um, I am very much looking forward to this coming, uh, Wednesday, this next weigh in Wednesday, because it's a weigh in Wednesday that coincides with the first of the month. So it'll be the 90 day transformation video, the, the three month update. And, uh, I, I mean, I can definitely say that this transformation, the 90 day one, the three month one is going to be the most drastic. And when I say drastic, I don't mean in a, a bad way most drastic in terms of changes. Like, uh, I definitely can tell from the mirror that my body has changed the most between month two and three, easily. I'm also gonna add in uh, a new thing to try on to compare. If you guys recall from one of my first videos, actually, I think it was like within my first like two or three weeks, um, I was going to my cousin's wedding and I had to try on my suit and you know, the suit fit fairly well, but you know, it was, it was tight in pretty much every area. Shoulders were tight. Couldn't really do up the jacket that well. The jacket did up, but it wasn't comfortable. Um, uh, and, uh, the pants, you know, again, they were comfortable, they fit, but they, you know, were tight in certain areas, hips and all that kind of stuff. That suit now is, I've tried it on recently just to kind of see, and I'm going to try it on again for the, the transformation video. And, uh, it's loose. I don't know if you would say it's too big on me, but it's definitely loose. Like there's there's room to move around in that suit now. I actually went through my closet recently uh, and I tried on every single thing in my closet, all my sweaters, all my shirts, all my jackets, all my pants, all my suits. 
and every single one of them fit me. That closet before, when I started this uh, weight loss journey, uh, half that closet didn't fit. It was too tight, couldn't get into it. And uh, I can very proudly now say that every single piece of clothing in that closet fits me. Now, I do have probably like one big, maybe two big storage bins of clothes at my parents' place stored in their uh, barn, the upstairs of their barn. Uh, that was just too small for me. And I was like, why is it taking up space in our apartment? I'm just going to pack it up, put it somewhere else. I don't want to throw it away. You know, I, I always in the back of my head was like, I'm going to lose weight. It's going to happen at some point. Uh, and I didn't want to throw the stuff away, but I didn't need to store it here because it wasn't being used. So I packed it up and uh, I can definitely say in the next couple months, maybe when like springtime rolls around, I am definitely going to go over there and uh, maybe I'll do like a little video of me going through it, trying stuff on. Man, I'm, I'm excited because there are a lot of clothes in those bins that I really like, like some of my favorite shirts that I just can't wear because it's too tight and you know, I'm going to be able to wear them again, which is awesome. I'm just really, really happy with how things are going. And I think uh, I've said this a million times and I'm sorry if you're getting sick of me saying it, uh, but I just am so surprised at how easy this whole process has been because of the approach I've taken this time. I'm not saying weight loss is easy in general, just the approach I've taken this time is so much easier than any other weight loss approach I've ever taken. If there was no consequences, right now I would be eating a pizza, you know, drinking some, some Coke and watching a, a movie and doing nothing. I know now I can't do that because I'll gain weight and I, I'll stop losing weight. So yeah, it takes a little bit of uh, willpower, it takes a little bit of restricting yourself from eating some stuff. But to me anyways, it feels like I've been brainwashed with like diet and fitness industry stuff for so long. And now I've kind of like broken free of that brainwashing. And I know now that you don't need to be on a diet. You don't need to eat certain foods. If you eat 2,500 calories worth of Doritos and you burn 3000 calories, you will lose weight, period. End of story. There is no discussion. It doesn't matter that they're Doritos. It doesn't matter that it's not a salad. That's just how it goes. Obviously, I'm not saying just eat Doritos every day. You want to get nutrients, you want to get vitamins, you want to get minerals, all that stuff. And the better stuff you put in your body, the better your body's going to perform, the better you're going to feel, all that stuff. That's all true. I'm not saying it's not true. But I just feel like for so long, I've been brainwashed into thinking like, if you want to lose weight, you have to not eat chips, candy, pizza, pasta, bread, ice cream. Like you can't eat that shit. And it's just, it's not the way it is. You can eat all that stuff. You just can't eat a lot of it. It seems so obvious. That, that's the part to me, I guess, that I, I find crazy about this whole weight loss thing so far is I'm waiting for this to stop working. I'm waiting for this to fail. I'm waiting for myself to fail. I'm waiting for things to get really hard and I'm waiting for the need to be on a specific diet and it's just not happening. I'm three months in and I'm, I've just hit the most weight loss I've ever lost in a week. And I'm doing it by just eating anything I want when I want but just making sure the calories are in check. I guess I feel like a little bit disappointed that I didn't realize this earlier in my life, uh, but at the same time, better late than never. You know, I, I can't be that upset that now I'm actually figured something out and it's working for me. And I mean, this is definitely sustainable. Uh, there's no possible way that I'm gonna go back to eating the way I was before. A, a day here or there, will I, you know, overeat here or there? Absolutely, 100%. I'm not gonna go back ever. I know for a fact, I am never gonna go back to eating McDonald's breakfast every single day for like the eight, six months in a row. That happened before we had Theo, uh, while Joanna was pregnant, there was a period of time where I would drop her off uh, probably like a three to six month period of time somewhere in there. I can't remember specifically, but uh, I would drop her off at work. I would go to McDonald's. I would get a uh, sausage and egg bagel, two breakfast burritos, two hash browns and a coffee. That was my order every single morning. I would get it every single morning. It was way too much money to be spending. It was way too many calories to be taking in. It was just bad decisions on top of bad decisions. And uh, I'm not going back to that, I know for sure. I'm rambling right now for sure, because I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited right now. I don't try to get too low when the scale doesn't give me what I want. But when I do get what I want from the scale, I do not have a ceiling on how much, you know, I can get excited, uh, how, how pumped I am. Uh, this is an awesome result. I am so motivated to keep going. Um, and the way I'm seeing my body change and the way I'm seeing the scale change, there's no doubt in my mind right now that I'm going to hit that, you know, 199.9 pound goal. It's it's gonna happen, it's inevitable at this point. My sister's having uh, all of us over for dinner tonight to her place. One of the things I do wanna do for sure today, and it's just one of those things I've kind of incorporated into my life now is if I know that I'm gonna be going over to someone else's place and having food that I didn't prepare myself, I know that I need to go get cardio done today. I know I need to burn some extra calories. 
I know that I want my output today to be at least 4,000 calories or more. My hip has actually been hurting me a little bit. My The back of my right hip has been hurting me. Nothing crazy, nothing I need to go see anyone about, but I think it's just like a muscle thing uh, from just running a lot. I feel like I jumped into the running pretty quickly and my body was like, hold on, hold on. You are 250 plus pounds. <laughs> you haven't run in like a decade. Let's ease ourselves into this thing. So I think it's my body pulling back the reins and, and holding me up. And I'm going to listen to my body. For that reason, I'm going to go just do some just light uh, cardio, basically just walking on an incline. Probably go for about an hour. And the goal is to just burn over just over a thousand calories. Maybe go for like an hour, hour and 10 minutes. I can't really shoot much outside or anything like that. Like I said, because it's going to be snowing like crazy. Then once I go to pick up Joanna and Theo, we'll probably just be coming back here and getting ready to go over to my sister's place for dinner. So, oh, we are doing a Costco run today too. So after I pick her up, we're going to go to Costco pick up some groceries, uh, and then um, we're going to go to my sister's place tonight. So we do have a Costco run to do, unfortunately. I hate grocery shopping. <laughs> I hated grocery shopping before inflation. <sighs> inflation has not made it any, any more fun, I'll tell you that much. I'm going to work on some content. I'm going to go do some cardio, and uh, I'm going to get myself into a place where I know that I can go to my sister's place tonight, eat what I want, drink what I want, and I'll be fine. All right, we're eight minutes in right now. Uh, doing 3.3 miles per hour, just walking on for a presenting climb. But uh, yeah, going pretty good. Um, I think I'm gonna do about an hour, see where that gets me calorie-wise. So when I'm on the treadmill here, I listen to a podcast, that's why I have my earbuds in. But I'll give you a, a little sneak peek of what I'm looking at the whole time. I've read that in case of fire sign like a hundred times. <laughs> There's a fire alarm in here. I got it. All right, all done. Um, ended up going for, I think it was 70 minutes, an hour and 10 minutes altogether. It was 65 minutes and then a cool down. It's five minute cool down. So I'll put the summary up uh, so you can check it out. Uh, just over a thousand calories, which is awesome. Um, that's just like uh, cardio like that is, uh, I don't think it's like really improving much in terms of like, you know, getting me to be a better runner or, you know, improving flexibility or even improving like cardiovascular, you know, health that much. I mean, I'm sure it is a little bit, but uh, for me, it's more just peace of mind knowing that there's a thousand extra calories I've burned. So if I am going to, you know, go to my sister's place tonight and eat a little bit more than I should, then I'll be good. I'm fine. Something else that's kind of cool to update you on. In one of my update videos, I had updated, I think it was my 30 day update video. I had updated that my Fitbit, when I started wearing it, I actually had moved it up a notch uh, from when I started. So um, you see here, there's notches on the Fitbit uh, where it goes in and where it is now, I've actually moved up another notch. So when I started first started wearing this thing, there's only one, um, like I was on the second last notch when I started wearing it. Now I'm on the, th the fourth last. So I got three, uh, I've moved up two notches, which is awesome. And then also something that's a little bittersweet, uh, but I guess I can live with and it, it can be fixed, my wedding ring. Uh, my wedding ring, I mean, it still goes on and everything and I can still wear it, but, uh, and it, it doesn't like slip off, doesn't fall off too easy. But if I'm doing things like skip the dishes, if I'm, you know, doing things where I'm gonna be actually moving my hands around a lot and working with things, I don't, I can't trust that it's gonna stay on my hand anymore. Um, it has gotten loose enough that uh, I literally can't trust that it'll actually uh, stay on there. Even if I'm like, if I'm jogging or anything like that, I don't want it to like fly off. So plan is to have a smoothie now, take a shower. Uh, then I'm gonna probably just work on maybe some videos or something like that, uh, chill for a little bit. And I'm picking Joanna up at 2.30 and then immediately going to get Theo after that. And then we'll probably drive right from there to Costco. And then from Costco, we'll come home, put it away and then go to my sister's. So gonna be kind of a whirlwind uh, after I go to get uh, Joanna from work, but uh, that's why I'm really glad I got this cardio done now is because I know I got a busy day ahead of me. So nice getting that out of the way. I don't have to worry about it anymore. This might be the first time I've legitimately ever used an entire bag of Costco spinach and not had to throw the last bit out because it was going bad.
green gives it the spinach, so I like to think it's maybe like a shamrock shake. It doesn't taste, I don't think, like a shamrock shake. I've ever, actually never had one before, but uh, it is pretty delicious. Well, we just took a trip to Costco. As you can see, I don't know if it picks it up on the camera or not, but it is snowing a lot inside. You know, it's snowing a lot when you're covered and the groceries are covered, just getting back to the car. <laughs> um, so like I said, we went to Costco, so we're broke now. So hopefully this gas and these groceries can last us for the rest of the month. <laughs> I just uncovered this. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. That'll do it for another Weigh-In Wednesday, and this was an awesome one. If you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. I'll put my Weigh-In Wednesday playlist in the bottom right-hand corner so you can check out the other Weigh-In Wednesdays if you want. Follow along on my weight loss. I appreciate you. I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are. I'll see you on the next one.